Thank you, Cahirlach. Leader, I want to raise the issue of the ongoing shortage of pharmacists in Ireland. This was raised in both houses last May. The situation certainly hasn't resolved itself. In fact, just last month, the Irish Pharmacy Union conducted a survey which shows that the shortage is reaching crisis levels. These shortages will lead to some pharmacies reducing their hours and services, and in some cases, temporary closures may be necessary. More than half of the pharmacies surveyed had at least one open pharmacist vacancy in the past year, and more than one third indicating that these vacancies had remained for more than six months and up to one year. The report shows that at least 20% of the pharmacies are relying on pharmac pharmacist locums to stay open. Of the pharmacists surveyed, 42% were first registered in the UK. This high level a percentage of pharmacists qualifying outside of Ireland serves to highlight the glaring lack of places for students to study pharmacy here in Ireland. The president of the IPU, Dermot Toomey, has said that the profession is being strangled by red tape and bureaucracy and that much of the pharmacist's day is now spent filling out paperwork which provides no benefit to the patient. This is unfortunately leading to the exodus of well educated community pharmacists and were the HSC to address this it would make the profession more attractive and be an instant boost to retention. Certain improvements to community healthcare in a pharmacy setting such as the introduction of an electronic prescription handling system have been in the works since 2013. According to Mr Toomey the only changes that seem to come quickly are those that involved more red tape. And so could the Minister for Health or the Minister for Higher Education either get together uh, and come in here and hash out a plan to get more pharmacists into training at third level and see what can be done to make the career more attractive to people who want to fill those places. Our pharmacists are a vital cog in the wheel of healthcare in this country. The minor ailment scheme is still on the back burner due to an action of the Minister uh, rolling this out. We need to support our pharmacists better, Leader. Asked if that's Thank okay. you. Sharon Kilgan asked um, for a debate um, on the shortage of pharmacists, and particularly community pharmacists that we have, um, and I would very much welcome that and I, I will support it. And the thing I was struck by, Sharon um, Foley, who's the Sec Gen of the IPU, um, is a good pal of mine, and she brought to my attention yesterday a pilot for extending the services in our community pharmacists that was conducted in 2017. It was a roaring success, and yet it has sat on numerous ministers of health uh, desks since then with nothing happening. So we really need to invest not just in the college places and ensuring that we keep um, the students once they um, obviously graduate, but to make sure that we make it a viable um, and decent business to work in and to provide the services in our localities that we all want uh, in the future.